Okay, so Howard Smith from Dynamax. Um, we've heard mention a couple of times of um, Facebook and digital signage integration, and I think we, we all acknowledge that you know the technology is going to be joined up, shall we say. But what about the retailers' marketing departments? Because historically, they've operated in silos, so you've got a merchandising team, you have a social team. I don't know whether they talk to each other a great deal or not. And so how do the panel feel that... Is the technology evolving faster than the marketing teams or vice versa? And, and I really mean this more from a strategic perspective, i.e. rollouts, rather than a tactical, what I call, you know, experiential one-offs. Right, so a question about convergence and things. So. Well, no, I think um, it, is, it is true that the technology capabilities in advance of how we can really utilise that. Uh, I think there are, there are it, it depends on the organisation, obviously, but but... Yeah, I think there is still silos. I, I don't think we're joined up. And I think, um, you know, part of the challenge with that is that, um, you know, people, you know, the, the, the way things are organized, they have their own um, view and their own accountabilities. So obviously it's going to require somebody that, 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 that there's a point where all of this gets joined together that can basically mandate a different way of working. Um, and that will require different ways of um, managing operations and internal workflows, um, you know, in terms of managing the business. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure you know, ch changing processes and procedures and systems is a, is a tough thing to do. Um, so it, it'll, it'll need somebody at the top with the, the right level of vision and the, the confidence that, you know, as an industry, we'll be able to deliver and support that um, change in in process from an enabling think, technology point of view. Yeah. Um, but it is it it you know it's a people issue as well as a technology issue. The, there's a there's something working in our favour. I think uh, you look ten or twelve years ago. Um, you know, a technology person like myself would have had to go to some length to put a demonstration together to talk to a retail team or a marketing team or a CIO or a CTO or a CEO. Uh, and now, I mean. Because a lot of this stuff is consumer-led, they're seeing it every day. I mean, if the CEO of a of a Nike town or CEO of a New Look, you know, their teenage children have got iPads and iPods and iPhones, and they can go and buy Microsoft Connect and Xbox games and Sony PlayStation games, and they see it all advertised on television. So the stuff that they think they want installed, they're 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 seeing it, the, the average consumer using it. I don't think we're going through the. We haven't got that long life cycle of a of a technology department having to buy lots of expensive kit, putting it together, doing a demonstration. Um, you mentioned earlier about the Panasonic display and, and how cheap the, the Kinect, Kinect device is compared to that. You now you can, you can go and buy these on a credit card, 150 quid, um, and demonstrate it to somebody. But you don't need to because your teenage children probably are, are demonstrating this technology to the, to the big retailers. Mm. Um, same with music, I guess, in many respects. Yeah, music and digital signage. Um, music is a little bit more focused. It pretty much is marketing. Um, digital signage, I agree with what Ian was saying, and, and you're right, when we have a meeting about digital signage, we've, we can have you know five, six, seven, eight people at the table from various different departments, from your online, your social media, if they have a social media department, um, your point of sale, you know, it's general marketing, um, it, it really is, and they're all talking, and of course one of the questions at the table is, okay, so next steps, what's the process? and they've got to work it out between themselves. So, I've, yeah. um, I've certainly seen big brands who have social media experts come along to more of the conferences that we've been doing, mm. uh, which is interesting. I mean, they may not know that much about digital signage or experiential marketing, but they're getting to use to, they know that they need to have a voice on the internet. Yeah. And those social media people who are responsible for the brand are coming along and seeing what they could do with it. And yes, they spend most of the time talking about Twitter and Facebook, but I think they're going to the right conferences and the right events. Mm. And, um, they may work in a completely different department. They probably work for the for the, the brand manager, I suspect. But I think um, I think your point about sort of the CEOs with children with i i everything iPads, iPods, yep. etc. Um, is right because there is definitely a filter down from the top a bit more that we're seeing now. Saying right, okay, this is out there. We need to harness it. How do we do it? So that's something we're seeing that's positive. a bit more as well. I yeah, would, it is. Yeah. I would think the earlier adopters are probably the smaller, rapidly growing companies than the large established companies, be simply because they don't have the kind of bureaucracy that uh, that you were describing uh, earlier. So, so mm. who adopts it? What kind of company adopts it? I think is an interesting question too. Yeah, 
Mm. Yeah. And I mean, we've seen uh, lots of examples in Europe and people like Diesel, which are known as being mm. funky brands, they're, they're, they're pretty crazy and they'll do crazy things and they are leading it. But the guy who leads the business is well known as being funky and creative and whatever else. And it's sort of a younger, more dynamic audience. Uh, I think people will soon, soon follow. Yeah. So that was a, thank you. It was a good question.